why did I move to America? Well, there are just a lot of things that I love about living here. So today I'll tell you about my 10 favorite things about living in the US. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia and I'm a German living in the US. As many of you already know, I was born and raised in Munich and I first came to the US in 2016 for an exchange semester during my undergrad. I then came back for an internship, then I came back for my master's again, and then I was lucky enough to win the green card lottery, which is why I'm now here as a permanent resident. And of course, people ask me a lot, why did I do this? Why did I move here? Why leave Germany? And the answer to that is that I didn't leave Germany because I didn't like it there anymore or because Germany isn't a good country to live in because Germany is a pretty amazing country to live in. But the reason is that every time I was here, I just really enjoyed it here. Those of you who have lived abroad before probably know how exciting it can be and how amazing it can feel to like challenge yourself, get out of your comfort zone by living in a completely different country where everything is new. So the excitement is definitely one reason why I came here, but the other reason is that I just love a lot about the US and about American culture. And what those things are exactly, that's what I'll tell you now. So here are 10 things I love about living in the US. The first point on my list is that I love how open and friendly Americans are. Not every single one, of course, so just a general disclaimer, whenever I make like a generalizing statement about Americans, this obviously doesn't apply to every individual out there, but it's just my personal experience with the majority of Americans in comparison to Germans. So overall, Americans are a lot more open and friendly than Germans, and that's just something that makes being away from home a lot easier and it makes living here really enjoyable. This includes that approaching people and talking to each other is very easy and comfortable here. In Germany, the threshold to do those things is a little bit higher. But here you can pretty much just walk up to someone and start talking to them, like if you have a question, for example. This especially works at certain social settings, of course, like at a gathering or when you're at work or school, but people even approach each other just at the store or on the street sometimes. And most Americans are really friendly too. They're polite to each other, they usually have a friendly tone, they're interested in what you have to say, they share personal stories with you, they give you compliments, and if people are in a bad mood, they don't usually take it out on everyone around around them, which in Germany I sometimes feel like you can just tell that someone is in a bad mood and obviously that doesn't brighten your own mood either. The second point on my list is that it's easy to make friends in the US. Since most Americans are so open and friendly, I found it really easy to make friends here in the US, which obviously made my experience here so much better in the beginning. Because when you come to a new country and don't know anybody, having friends changes a lot actually and it's pretty much the first step to feeling at home home in the new country. And people were also really hospitable in the beginning. They offered to show me around when they heard that I had just arrived or they drove me to places because they knew that I didn't have a car or they invited me to hang out with them and their friends or to come along on trips. So that was really amazing for me. But even after three years, I just love how there isn't a really big threshold to becoming someone's friend and how it's also really easy to connect different friend groups with each other. Like in Germany and some other European cultures, people kind of prefer to stay within their established friend circle. And if you have several of those circles, you usually hang out with one or the other. But here, connecting friend groups and also inviting people to join if you've already made plans with your friends is really common and simple. These things can be a lot more complicated in Germany, which is also why for people who are new to Germany, it can be really tricky to make friends in the beginning. But the good news is that once you've made friends in Germany, it usually means that you can really rely on them and that they're going to be in your life for a while. Whereas here, I'd say that, and of course this varies a lot, but Overall, I'd say that not only the threshold of making friends is pretty low, but also of losing them or losing sight of each other. But the point still stands, I love how easy it is to make friends here. Americans are a lot more spontaneous than Germans and I love it. Germans love planning, so most Germans plan things like hanging out with friends at least a few days or even weeks in advance. Here, I really enjoy that people are much more spontaneous and sometimes it can even happen that you didn't know what you were going 
going to do tonight but then suddenly you end up having like a game night with eight friends or something and that just happened like the hour before just an example of course but i hope you guys know what i mean in germany the majority of those eight people probably would have already had plans or if they didn't they may not have been up for a spontaneous thing like that the downside to this is of course that people also bail spontaneously sometimes and if you like to plan ahead a lot it can get tricky at times americans are very good at enjoying themselves and treating themselves without feeling the need to have an actual reason for it and i personally find that to be a very healthy way of looking at life germans often have the need to justify those things towards others like if they treat themselves with unhealthy food or if they go to the bars and get drunk or if they spend a lot of money on a new pair of shoes or whatever it is Germans often compare themselves with others and judge each other in certain ways and so if you do something where you feel like other people may think something like oh why did he spend all that money on shoes when we all know that he doesn't have that much money and he should have just saved that for emergencies Germans tend to explain themselves and justify their actions towards others when technically they don't owe anyone an explanation in my opinion. In the US people don't really do that as much but I also don't see people being as judgy as in Germany and Americans don't begrudge each other as much either. So I think that's probably the reason why people don't feel as compelled to justify their actions here. For me personally this whole attitude of just treat yourself if you're in the mood for it definitely had a positive impact on how I live my life. These things are all somewhat related to each other, but the next thing that I love about living in the US is this optimistic and positive atmosphere here. Germans are oftentimes a lot more skeptical and critical, so I find that positive vibe here in the US really inspiring. You can observe this in all kinds of different contexts and parts of life, like how people just compliment each other a lot, but to give one concrete example, you can see this a lot in the field of entrepreneurship, especially when it comes to new ideas and things thinking out of the box. So broadly speaking, when the average German would ask why, the average American asks why not? So while Germans often focus on finding potential problems and reasons why something could possibly fail, Americans focus more on the potential and have more of a can-do attitude and don't give up easily even if they fail a few times at first. And this attitude is something that Americans don't only have about their own life but towards others too. Celebrating other people's success, encouraging others and also supporting them to use their talents in the best possible way is a part of American culture that I would love for Germans to adopt a little. This kind of ties in with what I said about judging each other earlier, but Germans unfortunately often begrudge each other's successes and instead of being happy for other people, we oftentimes feel envy and somehow feel like another person's success may make us less successful or valued. Again, this doesn't apply to every single German of course, but it's definitely something that you can see in German society. And who knows, maybe this optimistic and positive spirit here in the US still goes back to the pioneers who came to this new country with a lot of big dreams. Very closely related to that is that I also love how enthusiastic Americans can be. Whether it's about their favorite sports team or a band or just the school they're attending, Americans are usually not afraid to share their enthusiasm with the public and they're also not ashamed to stand up for what they like and to show their excitement to everyone else. As I've mentioned in my video on sports cultures, Germans can be like that when it comes to soccer, but besides that, we're usually a lot more reserved and modest about those kind of things. Unfortunately, this also sometimes applies to our own accomplishments and things that we should be really proud of. Sometimes people are very modest and humble about those things too and feel like they can't really celebrate openly because it would make them look like they're bragging and make them unlikable, which I think is really sad. So I think being positive and celebrating each other and supporting each other is awesome in the US. The next point on my list is that I love how individualism is valued in the US and how I feel like that the need to fit in and to float with the current isn't as big as in Germany. This is based on my personal experience and it is compared to Germany and this may vary a lot in different places between rural and urban areas but overall I feel like you're really encouraged here to be who you want to be and do what you want as long as you don't break the law or harm anyone. I've talked about this with my German friend in this video a little but Germans tend to look at each other a lot in public. Some people would say that we stare while in the US I feel like it really doesn't matter 
what you look like. Whether you're wearing gym clothes out to the bar or have a lot of tattoos and piercings or are bigger than other people, I feel like Americans don't give you weird looks usually. And to be honest, I don't hear Americans talk about others a lot either, which I think is awesome. The motto is kind of like, mind your own business, but in a good way. Okay, this is old news, but another thing that I love about living here is that the United States are huge and there's just so much space here. In Europe, everything is much more dense and just smaller than in the US. This starts with the country itself, but it also applies to how streets are much wider, um, stores are bigger and have bigger selections, houses are bigger and you don't have to be rich to have your own yard and driveway, and even things like fitting rooms in a store are bigger. So except for a few dense cities in the US, everything is just more spread out here and that definitely gives me a feeling of freedom. On to the next point, I also love how within one and the same country there's just so much scenic diversity. I mean Germany has a very diverse landscape too and so do a lot of other countries but I love that in the US you have two different coasts, you have really warm and really cold climates, you have swamps and beaches and the big lakes and mountains and vast openness and the canyons when you go out west and still when you travel all of this you're in the same country the whole time with the same language and the same currency and all the things you're used to. Okay so for the last point this topic has come up quite a lot in my recent videos about how the US is all about convenience and I mean I would lie if I said I didn't enjoy that. You can pretty much get anything you want here 24 7. Okay right now you can't with this whole pandemic going on but before this happened you could and hopefully after. A lot of the stores here like Target or Walmart have pretty much everything you need in just one place. So everything from groceries to furniture, clothing, medicine, hardware, but also in just regular grocery stores you can usually get way more than just food. And as I've mentioned before stores have huge selections so like a full aisle just for cereal is pretty normal or like 20 different brands of pasta sauce and those kind of things. And in addition to that there are drive throughs for almost everything. So so you can just conveniently get food from your car or coffee or medicine or cash or even liquor. And of course the US has amazing customer service which is something that I absolutely enjoy about living here and this also plays into the whole convenience thing. Most salespeople at stores are extremely friendly and help you wherever they can. Waiters are usually really happy to accommodate your special requests and even at the grocery store you don't even have to bag your own things in most cases. And for those of you who think that customer service is bad here in the US, believe me, you do not want to come to Germany then. So that was the end of the list. Those were my personal top 10 things about living in the US. My friends and family have definitely heard all of these before because I tend to talk about this a lot, especially whenever I'm in Germany because then I kind of like notice how those things are missing there. I'm sure this can be a little annoying sometimes for the people around me, so I apologize. But maybe now that I've expressed it in a video, I won't feel the need to talk about it as much. And I'm interested in what you guys value the most about the place that you live in or if maybe there is a country that you're dreaming of moving to, what is it that you like about that country the most? Share your stories in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for free if you like what I do on this channel in general. Also activate the bell to get notifications for new uploads and follow me on Instagram. Other than that, stay safe and healthy everyone. Stay home if you can wash your hands and I hope I'll see you next time. Tschüss!